Episode 6 opens with Detective John's co-workers going over what happened in the grocery store. That ended in John's untimely death. Fuchs and Barry are in a public space talking about what's next. Barry wants to go back to the acting class, while Fuchs wants to continue working with Hank, since the Janet issue has now solved itself. Barry tells Fuchs he is done with him. As Fuchs gets this message, he asks Barry how Gene will feel knowing Barry murdered his girlfriend. The two separate while insulting each other. Barry then finishes up his training for Hank and Co. Hank asks if he thinks they are ready as he watches on. Barry notices one of Hank's men actually knows what he is doing, and he's looking pretty good. Barry then says they are as ready as they ever will be. The Chechnyans then thank him and send him off. Before he leaves, the one man that has been doing very well tells Barry I have a purpose now, and you gave me that. The acting class then continues training for their show. Sally tells Barry that she rewrote her scene because she feels like she needs to tell the truth. Barry supports her. Then the two go inside and do the scene read in front of the class. She feels like she's being judged, so she leaves. Barry then asks Gene if he can skip doing his scene and put his effort into helping Sally do her scene. Gene agrees, since now he knows Barry got away with killing someone while he was a Marine. Fuchs then shows up at Gene's cabin. He follows tire tracks and gets very excited, thinking he's going to get some evidence to use against Barry. The tire tracks then run out, and Fuchs hits a dead end. Barry and Sally practice their scene together. To get in the right mindset, Barry channels what Gene has been preaching to him for a while now, to use real life and use real moments in his acting. The moment that he decides to use to become Sally's ex-boyfriend, Sam, was the two worst moments of his life. The first one was when he was a Marine and he got away with killing someone, as we just mentioned, and the second one was when he killed Gene's girlfriend, Janice. He was really done with killing at this time, and he did not want to have to go through with that, but he had to. So he uses both of these moments to fuel his acting performance. The scene is captivating as Barry reaches new heights in his acting pedigree. Gene pulls him over to the side and compliments him on the performance. Barry doesn't know how to take this since he funneled the moment that he killed Gene's girlfriend to make this performance better. Back to Fuchs. He clumsily stumbles around and falls down the side of the hill. When he gets himself together, he notices a sewage drain. He walks over to it and he thinks he can find something in there. So he decides to walk over to the other side. He finds Janice's car, hidden. Hank is then prepping to go out and use the new training to kill Esther, but the plan is foiled by Esther. Her and Cristobal are waiting around the corner as they attempt to go to the monastery and take out the Burmese family. Cristobal said he is very disappointed as one of his men knocks out Hank. We then see Gene dining alone, looking very upset. He motions a cheers in honor of Janice, as it seems he is finally putting her to rest in his mind. But... Just then, the camera pans over and we see Fuchs looking on, ready to engage in his next target to use to get back at Barry. Thank you for watching this recap. If you do not see the next one up in the corner right there on the end screen, don't worry, it'll be up shortly. Please consider following the channel. That'd be cool. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, there's a thumbs down button for a reason.